Hello YouTube. YouTube. Some time ago I published in my other channel a, um, a short video describing the new feature of the serial plotter that was introduced in the Arduino IDE version 1.6.6. Now 1.6.7 is out and they added a cool new feature of uh, multiple outputs in the, on the same time, at the same time. So let me show you briefly how it's done. Here we have a single output which comes from this loop. It's a print line of a sine, sine wave of uh, degrees 0 to 360, 359. Now, uh, let's take a look at the source code for the Arduino uh, serial plotter. That's here in the um, in GitHub. You'll find it uh, here's the the link if you want to take a look at it. How to find it? And here's the um, the line 228, if I'm not mistaken. Right, um, string parts equals line dot split and this is a regular exp expression meaning that the, the limiters we can use are either a comma a white space or a backslash t which is the tab space so let's put it here you remember that um, the the plotter um, takes samples uh, based on the uh, on the end of line characters so here too we we actually collect the um, collect the different numbers we want to, to plot, delimited by the, the, limiter, the limited that we chose, and we end the, the sequence by the uh, end of line. So what we can do, for instance, let's add a cosine wave to this. So we'll print without the end of line, the cosine, print the, the limiter that we chose, for instance, white space, and immediately afterwards, the sine wave. Let's uh, upload that and see what we get. And that's taking some time, but never mind. Let's uh, see our output. And there you have it. The two outputs, the sine and the cosine. Here you have the legend. It's not uh, really a legend, just tells you how many channels you have of data. But basically, you can put here uh, two, three, five, whatever number of, uh, of plots this can handle. Uh, another interesting feature of this: um, first, you can use this to, if you remember, let me just uh, comment these out. When we start the the serial plotter, it uh, it doesn't know the range of numbers, so it adjusts the y-axis um, dynamically, which can be rather annoying to to watch. Um, when this uploads, I'll show you. Pay close attention to the y-axis. See that it starts there. It was some jumping around, and here it jumps again until it uh, stabilizes more or less on the values coming in. But if you want to make this um, more stable, you can add instead of the cosine. Let's put here a, a fixed number. Let's say two, which is the upper value. A delimiter, another uh, value for the um, lower end of the axis, minus 2, a delimiter and our sine wave. So this time, hopefully, you'll see that there's almost no jumping in the y-axis uh, definitions because we set these uh, constants, but you will see the lines of 2 and minus 2. One moment, and there you have it. You see, it doesn't jump around because these set the upper and lower limits to a fixed value instead of the uh, up and down of the sine wave. This can be very useful if you want to test um, incoming data for some kind of uh, threshold. You can put a line say at uh, 0 0.6 and and see visually when the your wave or sampling or sensors or whatever cross that line. Another interesting feature is that um, they don't have to come uh, this always at the same uh, rate. Let's say if random of um, 10 equals 0, then only then I'll put the, the, the first number, otherwise it will just plot the, the regular sine wave. So here I'll just uh, print, um, let's put a cosine wave here, there. So 
so the cosine wave uh, plots uh, randomly about uh, 1 in 10 trials while the sine wave is uh, continuous and let's see how it looks in the in the plot there you have it you'll see some uh, jumping around which is uh, rather mysterious but you also notice that um, the the cosine wave this uh, randomized it uh, goes quite slowly while this one is go goes uh, at a regular rate so I don't know if it's uh, very useful but it certainly is interesting maybe there are some uh, cool things we can do with uh, this kind of uh, individual uh, graph movement I do wonder why this uh, sine wave jumps around to to these uh, unexpected values but uh, we'll have to check that okay that's my, my first impression of the uh, serial plotters uh, multiple output and uh, hopefully I'll have more more information oh um, about the colors uh, these are uh, not uh, user selectable in any easy way but I suspect from the source code that you can uh, define some uh, colors in the um, preference file here just click that and um, probably be able to uh, to put some values there I think um, if we go back to the to the source code we have some uh, colors here let me find it color uh, it was plotting dot graph color so uh, I don't know how to use it uh, yet but there is a way to to locate these um, to change and uh, set the colors that you may want for your specific uh, plot so again this is just a first impression um, I'll appreciate any other feedback and, um, and information in the comments and uh, thank you for watching I'll see you next time